hello everyone welcome to the yarn bowl today in this video we're going to see how to crochet super simple one skein infinity scarf using the new ogo yarn so i have already posted the review of this ogo yarn in my channel i'll update the link of the review in the description box the written pattern of this super simple infinity scarf is available in my website the yarn bowl crochet.com i have updated the link of the pattern in the description box as well meanwhile if you are new to this channel please do not forget to subscribe to the yarn bowl and click on the bell icon as well so that you get notified whenever i post a new video So this is uh, the yarn that I'll be using. This is the Ogo yarn and uh, I've already opened this during the review. If you have followed my channel already, the color uh, I'm using today is Lippy and uh, the yarn recommends a 6 mm crochet hook and I'm going to use the same. It's a size 5 bulky yarn. So I'm using a 6 mm crochet hook for this project and let's get started we'll also need scissors so starting row one would be work a slip knot and then go ahead work 26 chains so work 26 chains So once you have worked 26 chains, I'm going to work a one single crochet on second chain from the hook. So we have worked 26 chains. Now I'm going to work one single crochet on the second chain from the hook. And then I will be working one single crochet on each chain till the end. So go ahead work one single crochet on each chain till the end. So now uh, we are going to end this row 1. I am going to work one single crochet on my last chain. So with this our row 1 is now complete. So for row 2 I am going to work a chain 1. And then I am going to turn my work. This chain 1 does not count as a stitch. Now I am going to pick up the back loop of each stitch of the previous row and then I'm going to work one single crochet on the back loop of each stitch of the previous row so you can see the front and back loop I'm gonna just pick up the back loop and work one single crochet on that so I'm going to work one back loop single crochet on each stitch till the end so this is going to create a ribbed like pattern for us so that's what we need for our scarf so go ahead work one back loop single crochet on each stitch till the end I'll meet you at the end of this row you can see the ribbing that's getting formed so now uh, we have we are going to work one back loop single crochet on the last stitch and then I'm going to chain one turn and repeat all of this over again so that is I'm going to work a chain one turn the chain one does not count as a stitch and then I'm going to work one back loop single crochet on each stitch till the end so this will be our row 3 so we are going to follow this row 2 
pattern for the entire scarf so we are going to chain one turn and then we are going to work one back loop single crochet on each stitch till the end then once again we work a chain one turn and then work one back loop single crochet on each stitch till the end so go ahead work like work the same pattern that is row 2 until we reach row number 124 so you can see the ribbing that is getting formed so you can see the ribbing that is getting formed here so we are going to repeat this until we reach row number 124 so go ahead repeat this pattern until we reach row number 124 So now I have worked a couple of rows, you can see the ribbing here. Um, this gives a nice texture to uh, your uh, scarf. So go ahead repeat this pattern over and over again. You can see the ribbing get that's formed and uh, that's it. Your uh, that's it. That's a pattern for your entire scarf. So I have worked few more rounds here, uh, rows here, you can see the ribbing, it's nicely uh, formed and it's stretchable too. So we are going to work this out for our entire scarf until we reach 124 rows. So with that uh, my yarn skein is also completed, so I only get uh, a little bit extra here, so, so I am stopping right here. So we are going to uh, seam these two ends together. Let's see how we are going to do that. So let me finish off my last row and then we'll uh, hold on both the ends together so that you can see half ribbing on each of these sides. So when I hold this you can see there is a half rib here and the half rib in the end so when you seam together it makes one complete ribbing so that's how we are going to hold that together and then I will work a chain one and then I will work slip stitches across so working a chain one and then I will work a back loop of that stitch and the stitch of my starting row and then work a slip stitch then once again pick up the back loop of my last row and the stitch of my previous uh, row 1 and then work a slip stitch. Once again pick up the back loop of the next stitch of my last row and the corresponding stitch of row 1 and then work a slip stitch. So we are going to do this till the end.
so I have worked slip stitches across and then I will work a slip stitch and then fasten off and then I'm gonna weave my ends That's it, our super simple, super cute infinity scarf is ready. I'm just turning it inside out so that our slip stitches goes inside. So you can uh, uh, adjust the length how much ever you want. If you want it as a uh, cowl instead of scarf, you can reduce, reduce the number of row counts and then work it like that. Or if you want it like this infinity scarf, you can go ahead work like this. So I didn't want to waste my skein of yarn. So I made it as an infinity scarf. So this is a nice thick bulky yarn. It's perfect for winter. Um, and uh, it's super simple and easy too. It's a very easy beginner friendly pattern that you can try with only one skein of this ogu yarn the written pattern of this infinity scarf is available in my website the yarnbowlcrochet.com i hope you enjoyed this video please do not forget to subscribe to the yarn bowl and click on the bell icon as well thanks for watching bye